Yes. Hello, welcome back everyone. I hope you had a brilliant half term. Um, this will be the last um, tutorial um, and we thought we'd celebrate with making some fruit cheesecake pots. Right, so for your base you're going to need two digestive biscuits and you need to crush them with a rolling pin. done now. To that you add some melted butter. I just melted this quickly in the microwave. And then stir it with a spoon till all the biscuits covered in your melted butter. Okay, thank you. Now when you're ma making these cheesecake pots, if you actually happen to have any of these left over from your dips, from your takeaway dips, these are a fantastic size because they're quite small little cheesecake pots. They're a very rich um, pudding, so you don't want to have too much. If you haven't got those, what I have done is I've bought some um, plastic glasses and um, plastic cups, and if you just cut around to where that line is on them, that makes actually the fantastic size. So you make, make two cheesecakes with this recipe. And then what you want to do is you want to put half of the biscuit mix into each of your little pots and then press it down well. Right, okay, now for the topping. So for the topping, you're going to need some cream cheese. I'm just gonna go and get myself a mixing bowl quickly. It's a beautiful one I didn't Right, so this is cream cheese. It actually costs the same in every supermarket because I did have a look at this. And what you need for these is you need half a tub. Now cream cheese, a lot of people think is really bad for them, but actually it's full of vitamin A, which is really good for your immune system and particularly important at the minute for fighting off any infections. Right, to your cream cheese you add one tablespoon of icing sugar. and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. If you've got any lemon juice left over from pancake day, that also makes a very nice cheesecake as well. And then what you need to do is cream this. So if you've got a wooden spoon at home, cream it with your wooden spoon till it's all thoroughly mixed together. Might just put a towel underneath that so it stops it slipping. When you feel it's well mixed, what you need to do is you need to put half of the topping onto each of your cheesecakes. I tend to use my little finger to push it off, but if you prefer to use two spoons, And then what you can do is take a knife and just spread the cream cheese topping smoothly over the biscuit base. And the last thing you can do is top it with some fruit. I've got some blueberries and some strawberries. I bought them frozen. And what you can do is just take one, pop it on the top, or maybe you'd like a, a few blueberries. This looks quite nice. 
and that's your fruit cheesecake pots made. So there'll be a recipe on the website and there's also another recipe for another cheesecake on there as well. That one's a bit more of an advanced one because you have to use a whisk for it. But have a look and any photos that you do, please make sure you send them in.